This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Now, I will tell you this about Skylar Thompson. Let's talk a little Skylar Thompson here now. This is it. Remember I told you last week was an enormous game for Teddy Bridgewater? And he failed. Teddy Bridgewater lost money in the offseason. Why? Because Teddy Bridgewater proved that he's fragile and he's also proven that he's really not that effective. He's just, uh, you know, a game manager on his best day. So all that talk about, oh, he's one of the best backups in the NFL. Oh, please, give me a break. You know, it's like Mad Dog used to say, what are we going to talk about, the valedictorian of summer school? Come on, man. There, there aren't even 32 good ones. What, are we worried about backups too? You, you don't even have 32 starters. So we're going to start measuring the bad backups when you have bad starters in the first place? Come on. So Teddy killed his value for the offseason. He will earn less money in the offseason now as a backup than he did this year. He will have to take less money because he's not reliable. Skylar Thompson has played more than any of us ever expected as a seventh-round pick. So now that's a good thing and that's a bad thing because if you don't perform every time they give you the ball, that's not good. And if he gets injured in this game, now you've gotten injured twice. You couldn't finish the games two times when we dialed you up. That's not a good look for him. So he's got to prove durability. And this is a really important game for him, for his future. Do you know why I say this? Because if they find another backup quarterback, a young guy, remember what we talked about? I'm going to steal it again from Manny Navarro. Let's say a Hendon Hooker from Tennessee. You take him in the second or third rounds as a project guy. Maybe you say, well, that's going to be our future there. Now, he's injured, so maybe early on you can still keep Skyler and then cut him and then activate Hendon Hooker. But that's the other thing about Skyler. Skyler has to show improvement in his play. As he continues to get opportunities, which he continues to get opportunities, you have to start to show that you're effective. You have to start, start to show that you can produce. So believe it or not, this is actually a very important game for Skyler if the Dolphins are going to continue to invest in him. Because if they're, remember, they're going to be put in a very difficult situation next year. They have to bring back Tua because he's the best quarterback you've had since Marino. He's, he's, his stats are still, with all the games he's missed, he's still one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. That tells you you got to keep the guy. You got to hope that he can figure out how to stay on the damn field, like we talked about earlier in this week. But you still got to think, okay, you got to bring him back. But like I told you guys, if you're going to bring him back, you got to have a better plan B than Teddy B. So if you have a better plan B than Teddy B and you get and Tua gets injured again, well, then that plan B has to be ready to roll and it can't be Skyler because he's not ready yet for that. Unless he goes out this week and starts lighting it up and then we say, whoa, the light went on. But, you know, because it is a good defense if he can actually play well. But this is a really important game for Skyler. He has to show some improvement. He has to show that he has learned something. He has to show that he can stay on the field. He has to show that he can make good, good decisions out there because they don't want to look at it and say, yeah, he's talented, but now he doesn't do this, doesn't do that. If we find a better, a better young backup, we'll, 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 we'll get him and we'll, and we'll drop uh, Skyler. So Teddy Bridgewater already screwed up his value in the offseason. Skyler Thompson, if he wants to stay in the NFL and, and get a chance at development, because if the Dolphins cut you, there's no guarantee anybody else is going to pick you up. And if they don't, then you're at the XFL. And you're at other leagues trying to work your way back here. So this is a really important game also for Skylar Thompson. I believe he has to have some kind of a performance here that shows you, okay, we can work with this. If it's an outright unmitigated disaster, you may have to try to move on also because... You've given him several shots.